And yes, guys, I do have a pressure washer in the back of the garage. It's just more efficient and cleaner for me to run up to the car wash real quick and clean it up rather than hooking this bad boy up, making a mess in the driveway, cleaning that all up. I can spend four bucks, clean everything up I need to do, but we will use this from time to time. What's up guys, Sean and TQ here with Spencer's Lawn Care. What's up everyone? How's everybody doing on this beautiful Monday morning? Cold, but the sun is shining, temperatures are rising, great day. Yes, yes. Our season officially kicks off tomorrow guys. We will be out doing our cleanups. It should have started today, but after all the rain we got yesterday, it is just a mess. I'm really hoping we can get on these things tomorrow. But we are pulling the trailer for the first time with the new ball hitch, the new drop hitch. To me, it looks like we're gonna have to go down maybe one more inch. But today's video, we are gonna do our 2019 lawn care trailer setup. First and foremost, we have the 2016 Ford F-250. So going through the truck real fast, guys, nothing too special in here. We always have a bid book in here, receipt book. Uh, just in case electronics aren't working, we're able to take uh, payments. Uh, neon vest. We do have a strobe light in here now from plowing. May utilize that. The truck is an absolute mess, guys. Inside of here, we do have ear protection inside that bag. I always have just ear plugs just in case, you know, we forget like a set of uh, ear muffs or something. We do have a couple extra pair of safety glasses in there also. Uh, pair of cutters. Always need cutters, shears, whatever. Back here, nothing else too special. Gloves, a tape measure in case we need to measure anything. More neons. Uh, ear protection is an absolute must guys all different forms of ear protection you got to protect your ears and your eyes you only get one set fellas other than that nothing really else other than a toolbox under the uh, other side over there so a lot of you asked does our tailgate hit our trailer jack tq is going to demonstrate we have plenty of clearance here all the way around guys does not hit the tailgate this is a Kurt 6 inch drop hitch. We're currently at 3 inch drop here on the F-250. Our current trailer is a 7x12 carry-on utility trailer. We also utilize a tractor supply diamond plate toolbox. This is 1 foot by 6 foot wide. So what do I normally carry? See so if I'm going to do this one handed. We'll come in here. It's nothing real special guys, but just a bunch of odd and end things. We got some cutters down here, some Allen wrenches. Uh, the echo leaf blower handheld blower. We have an axe in here a saw Just basically for if you need to take a tree limb down or you know Cut a little stump out of the ground anything that you might need something goofy like that for uh, We have a fire extinguisher in here always a good idea to have one at least on the trailer or truck Some people do put them on the mowers now uh, I don't I haven't done that just yet myself uh, just a a generic i would say a generic toolbox guys this one's pittsburgh uh i believe i picked this up at harbor freight years ago or it may even have been a christmas gift but you don't want anything too expensive in your toolbox that somebody could just walk away with i wouldn't put anything real expensive in here uh we always have a rope with us a big thick rope in case we get stuck we can pull out uh, a couple uh loppers shears whatever you want to call them some tie down string a couple lights for the trailer Two cycle oil, some more snips, and I believe there's some screwdrivers and stuff, stuff down in there. Let's go ahead and hop into the equipment that runs Spencer's Lawn Care. Let's go. Equipment Defender Trimmer Racks holds up to three. We also have the Equipment Defender String Rack. Follow me on down here. We have two Equipment Defender Backpack Blower Racks. And then if you follow me around here, two Equipment Defender sure can racks. Now these are for the sure can gas cans. All right, and if you guys are in the market for any of these racks, head over to EquipmentDefender.com. Use code SPENCER. It will save you 10%. And yes, we do get a kickback, and that does go towards helping our channel grow. First and foremost, Got to have gas cans, guys. We prefer the shirt can gas cans. They haven't let us down yet. Now we got the Echo 770 backpack blower. One of my favorites. As I speed it up. 
So our next backpack blower, you guys all know, this is the big sister to the 770, which is the little sister. This is the Echo PB8010. Now we have my weapon of choice, the Steel FS91R. That's a little girl's trimmer. Oh, you had your mouth. You need a manly trimmer. How about the ever so freaking powerful Steel FS90R, my preferred trimmer myself, when I'm wanting to be the trimmer king. He might be demoted. New to the Spencer Lawn Care family, the steel BR800C. We got this bad boy here for all of our spring cleanups. We have the Echo BRD2620. So our multi-tool is the Pass 280 from Echo. We have the edger attachment on here right now. We also have the head shimmer attach attachment. The pro paddle, we have a bunch of attachments for this thing. This, this thing is an absolute must or a combi system if you're going to run that. You've got to have something that you can put multiple tools on. It's just going to save you a ton of money in the long run. And we have a couple options here for our handheld blowers. We have the Echo and the Makita. When we do need a push mower, we're going to be rocking the Bowens 21 inch push mower. And as most of you know, our new addition to our lawn care trailer setup this year is the right ZK 61 inch deck with the 37 horsepower Vanguard big block engine. So we also have an Xmark Laser Z 60 inch deck with a 27 horsepower Kawasaki engine that we're currently allowing TQ's dad to use. We're not sure exactly what we're gonna do with that mower just yet. We may end up picking up another right at some point. If we find out we've made the right decision, I should say that. So real quick, fellas, we have plenty of handheld tools rakes i'm not going to pull all this stuff out we also have a makita the battery operated stuff we use back here uh the chainsaw down there we use the sun joe pressure joe from time to time on small things just cleaning up things and then we have the rest of our setup that a lot of you know about we have tons of stuff in our shed out back tons of stuff still in here but i don't have the time to pull all this stuff out if you have any questions drop them down in the comments and i'll be sure to answer them for you so questions we get asked all the time is how much room do you have with a 61 inch deck or 60 inch deck on the trailer and as you guys can see we have about a foot roughly on each side this is seven foot wide probably a little bit less on that side if i centered it up though probably pretty darn close to a foot on each side so plenty of room to walk around as you can see i can do it no problem how do the equipment defender racks work well, they have a locking mechanism in here, and you can actually lock them with a key right here. So if you pull this down right here, that pretty much unlocks the setup here, okay? And then you have to turn the top pin here, which unlocks the pin that's inside of here. Now you can go ahead, you can unhook your trimmer, or whatever you have up here, push it back in. Now, see, if you put this up here, it's not technically locked in. I can still remove it, see? Remove it, put it in. So undo that pull this forward that locks it that spins the bar which locks it inside of here put this up now if you can see it won't spin can't remove the rack either so then if you lock it but with the key that you have they can't go anywhere really secure so the backpack blower racks are very similar you have the lock mechanism here unlock it there and then you can just basically lift this up and then there's a little hook up here at top push that up locks in you can remove your backpack blower Put it back in, same way to put it down, pull that little, that little switch here, that unlatches it, comes down, puts it there, push it up in. One thing I will say guys, using these over the last year, you definitely have to keep these greased up. If you see, there's plenty of grease inside of ours, and this helps out a ton with keeping that locking mechanism working properly. And the Equipment Defender sure can gas can racks work exactly the same. You pull a little pin here on the end, pull it out, it's locked in, won't go anywhere. Pull this little pin, lift it up, you're good to go right there. 
can lift your gas can out, put your gas can back in, push it down, on down the road. So that is our 2019 lawn care trailer setup. We are going to go out and make a ton of money with this. What do you think, TQ? I think we're ready to start. You think we're ready to start? I think we are. Let's go. All right, guys, as always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. TQ out. Peace.